that's okay. So, yeah. just really quick. All right, so here with Randy Hatton, founder of Aqua Vital Water, we want to know what is it that is required to get the research done on your products to prove the efficacy of them and for all of the endeavors that would be needed to gain greater access to the funding required for massive research projects in the fields of study that you are involved in. What's required for that? Well, to me, it would be a win-win to be able to have um, create projects for people who are inspired in college to learn more about what happens when we do these different things to water. Because a lot of these tests haven't really been done. Even what happens when we grow sprouts with tap water right from a tap, or we just run it through a vortex magnetic energizer or VME, then we water those sprouts. Even though we're not really filtering physical energy, uh, contaminants out of the water, we're energetically doing something. And what is that doing to those sprouts, mm -hmm. right? Simple, simple tests. Tests are pretty easy, but you still have to document them, photograph them, day one, day two. But then we go into what's the conductivity of the water doing? What's the ORP doing? What's the electron count doing? What is the um, uh, intracellular, extracellular fluid doing in a human body? Um, how well, um, there's something called the glycan age test. Probably, probably doesn't have a glycan age test, but that tells us our biological age. Right. By drinking this kind of water, testing your body, it's at this place and you drink it for a month, well, did you actually go backwards in your biological age or not? Uh, many cases, I believe we're gonna see, we do go, actually, we, we go back, we're younger, just, just from one month of drinking a live, full, what I call full spectrum water. So, if we can validate this, uh, even taking, because sometimes we're working with subtle energies, we're not just working with science that can mm. physically show this. Uh, how did the molecular structure of the water change? Um, using the work of Dr. Mishiri Moto, a superconductive electron microscope, which we don't even need. All we need is these little cell phones now. Right. Uh, Veda Austin, highly recommend checking into Veda Austin's work, realizing you can use these phones to photograph the molecular structure of water, how it changes from different words, from different things you do to it, prayer, etc., etc. These would be great studies to see mm. what happens with water when we, we have prayed over it, we bless it, we've honored it, or whatever it is. Mm. And how does that affect the human tissue of cells? Mm. All of these are worthy of showing the world how important, in my opinion, it is that we treat all of our water with utmost love and respect mm. by copying nature's way. Mm. Copy nature's way. When we all start waking up this, how we, science is gonna help us wake up to this. This is why this is so important that science gets more involved into this and the world gets more involved. So we will start treating water again like our beloved, our best friend, instead of just some substance, this hydrogen and oxygen that we can just bash around, trash around, dump chemicals on, pump under high pressure and straight lines uh, with nine degree bends and not having consequences from it. So this is super important. And for me, it's super important. I don't need to own the research, but I need to build, if I'm doing something with somebody and I set them up with the equipment to do, set them up with the technology to do the testing, I need to be able to say, you guys are going to be willing to release that information as is that came from the lab and I'm able to post it on a website, mm -hmm. right? Or post it on social media. Right. That you can have ownership of it, but you gotta give me the rights to be able to post that on social media and share it with the world. That's only fair. Mm -hmm. So, that's pretty much it. So, okay, either collaboration with the university or a major investor or somebody that has the legal standing and the funding to essentially create full reviews of how the vortexing is actually you know changing the molecular structure of the water yep and, yep and, and blood tests simple blood tests how con con uh, 
how much has a lot of our blood is really uh, like syrup. Right. It's clumping, clumping together, and this is causing a lot of health problems, right? right? So simple test to see when we drink uh, full spectrum water, what is what's happening with the clumping of the blood? Mm. Another really really important one. Yeah. Uh, what's happening with the pH of the water, right? The electron counts. Uh, these are all important factors about really healthy water, and. Also, would be good of how long does it last after you vortex and magnetize it? Yeah. How long does it really hold? Probably going to be different if you keep it cold or if you let it stay warm. That's going to have a factor. There's right. no doubt about that. Um, so, anyways, yeah, these are these are this time and age of the the time of Aquarius that we're in, which it is. It's the woman, the woman pouring the vase of water, yeah. which is the vase of wisdom mm. relating to water, fluid. That's the era we're in. This mm. is going to get bigger and bigger, whether you're on the um, aboard or not. It's going right. to happen on the planet, guaranteed. Oh yeah. In the Roman days, we even lined our aqueducts with lodestone. What is lodestone made? Magnets come from lodestone. The Romans knew this. They knew this. Magnetizing our water was a critical thing. Mm -hmm. Keeping high magnetism in the water. Yeah. So it, 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 it's not the days of the Essene. We return the water back to the planet in better shape than we got it. Mm. That's what we all need to be thinking. How can we return this water back into the system better than it was when we received it? Right. Happier than what it was when we received it. Yeah. So, anyway. That's perfect. Yeah, making sure that you, so you want to get blood test analysis, you want to get molecular structure analysis you want to get um, like any other just main highlighted bullet yeah. points of what kind of analysis yeah. G GDV would be another cool okay. thing or a bio well it's called a bio well or GDV okay. we're showing we're working with the subtle energies now and this is the big one that's important with water that's way overlooked science says oh that's just subtle energies there's nothing really real there nothing really important well that's exact actually the opposite these subtle energies are the most important part yeah. that we way overlooked and the bio well the gdv can actually show this mm -hmm. it can show real live image of the bio photon emission coming off of that drop of water right it can show you what happens when you drink the water how your bio photon emissions enhance and increase mm. how your brain hemispheres go into balance mm. these are and really important things we've way overlooked in the world of science. Mm -hmm. So it'd be great to have, uh, you know, SciTech Labs in Encinitas, California. They're the one of the ones who have a tremendous amount of equipment. Uh, being a GDV, being one of many, uh, yeah. including brainwave monitors, how well the brain functioning and the neurotransmitters. Uh, this is all water plays a huge role in all this. Mm. Um, and by, by doing these studies, figuring out how the vortexing works, you will have definitive proof of ways on how to not only structure and, and purify the water, but also to produce this at a potential scale that, you know, you can expand enough to where, you know, people can have this easily, most very affordably in their homes, and it will eliminate the need for, you know, a lot of the expensive other filters that don't really do as effective of a job and that aren't able to actually bring structure into the water. And what are the largest implications aside from that of this, like when these studies get done and how you, if this was to be brought to scale to the masses, how that could change the world? Yeah, definitely, definitely. And, um I mean, I know how to do it. I just want to be able to get the products in, in more of a production scale to support. No, I'm asking when you do get them to scale yeah. and the other research is done on all of those things you mentioned, how will that impact the globe and impact people to get not only more affordably your products, but the larger impacts that it has on the planet? Like if this, is, this research is completed and it's brought to a massive scale to all of humanity. Like, how will that change everything? Well, it'll change everything because water is a major player in shifting consciousness. 
Yeah. Water is a major player in shifting consciousness. You drink um, water that's happy, that's healthy, that's been treated with love and respect.